children's show host Tracy Knapp was shot and killed last night. That's correct! I'm gonna find out once and for all who shot Tracy Knapp. So this is one of the oldest beverages in the world. Uh, I found out about it through the SCR. Basically just honey, water, and yeast. Ooh. Does that booze in it? Yeah, it's got a little bit. us with the costumes. I like the horses, Jim. They're very realistic. Made them out of chicken wire and uh, paper mache. Looks good. What's this? We got a lot of pictures sent from all over the country. Fans, you know. There's so many. I've got other boxes, but you could use it and film if you want to. Thank you, Jim. These are amazing. Who do you think shot Tracy Knapp? I don't know. I never really thought about it. I, I just... I couldn't, you know, it was, it was too much. No, I, I'm not. Just tomorrow, we're all going back to Michigan for the 10-year uh, TV Legends tribute to Tracy thing, and... Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> you don't have any leads on, on anything, huh? Not in Michigan, no. Well, when you talk to that guy who found my dad, you know, the guy at the hotel, he didn't tell you anything? When you talk to who? The guy at the hotel, the one that was working at the hotel when my dad died. Chris Madsen. We didn't actually ever... That would probably be a good thing to do. Clawson, Michigan. 24 hours before opening day of Ultracon and the TV Legends tribute to Tracy. This is where I had planned on ending my search for Tracy Shooter, but in hindsight, it might have been a smarter place to start, seeing as it was the scene of the crime. Whoops. I asked the hotel manager if he could put us in touch with Christopher Matson, the employee who discovered Tracy's body. He said he hadn't heard from Christopher since he left the hotel in 1999, but that he knew of someone who might be able to help. Daniel. Daniel, we, we saw you. Come here. These gentlemen are making a film. We're trying to find Chris Matson. You mean Furf? Yeah, I know where he is. David. So, uh. <laughs> when I asked Daniel about Tracy Knapp, he pulled over and demanded we turn off our cameras. He said in 1994, Chris told him the baby he and his wife had just had wasn't his because of the color of its hair. I didn't understand why Daniel was telling me this at first until I took another look at Chris's wife and I realized I'd seen her before. Tracy couldn't say no to anything. 
What else had he been accepting unconditionally all these years? Alcohol? Drugs? Women? I asked Daniel exactly where we were going, and he said he had two shotguns in the back of his trunk and that we were going to shoot deer up north in Chris's uncle's old cabin. Chris went there to avoid the wrath of the Y2K bug four years after Tracy's shooting, and Daniel assumed this is where he still was. <laughs> 